Hey, this is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna do yet another upgrade to my Gypsy Rose Strat. This time it's not so much uh, function, but aesthetics. Uh, well, it's a bit of both actually, because uh, the thing is, I thought I'd upgrade the tuners and get locking tuners. And uh, since I, I don't know, I think there's a Jake E. Lee vibe about this guitar. And I thought I'd enhance that, so I uh, got black tuners. And what I will do is that I will mix and match parts from these tuners and those tuners, actually. And since this is an afford guitar from China, well, then all the cheap parts from China fits. Because, yeah, it's the same thing in this guitar as when you buy the cheapest things on eBay. So that's what I did. And I thought, uh, as I was ordering the locking tuners, well, why not upgrade or change some other parts as well? It's not so much an upgrade as changing to another equal part. So I will uh, change the bridge as well, the tremolo. Basically only the bass plate uh, and of course the block. Uh, I will show you in a second. And I will change the yeah the metal part that goes around the output jack. So uh, here are the tuners. I don't know if you can see them here. So it's locking tuners. You just turn this part in the back, and then it grips the strings. Yeah, <laughs> where you put them through. It's a simple construction. And uh, well, locking tuners, it's not so much for tuning stability. A lot of people talk about that as the reason for the locking tuners. The thing with locking tuners is that uh, they make string changing so much easier. It goes so much faster. So that's the main purpose. And again, in this case, to make a difference to the color of the hardware. Here's the tremolo or the bridge part of the tremolo. Um, let's see, it's all black. There's a piece of cardboard here. And the biggest block in the world well, yeah, as you can see, this is as little metal as possible <laughs> in a block. Uh, I don't know if the block actually makes that big of a difference. Uh, everyone seems to argue that it does, but might be a myth. I don't know. And here's the black output jack surrounding. So I will take away this. It came with a jack for free. So I will keep that for another project and just use the metal part so I don't have to desolder anything. I'm just going to remove the bridge, remove the tuners, remove the plate around the output jack, take out the output jack, put it back in. <laughs> I will keep the chrome saddles because that's the Jake Lee thing again on his white Charwell. It's a black base plate and these are in chrome. And I will keep these, the, these parts of the tuning pegs and maybe even, uh, yeah, maybe this thing around here as well to make it, yeah, again, as a mix and match. So you can see, the, the, probably make the black and the chrome stand out a little bit more. And as a whole, to make this guitar look even cooler, it's, it was amazing as it was, but it's getting cooler every second, I think. Okay, so let's start upgrading. Now I removed all the saddles from the black tremolo plate. And uh, I thought I should mention this, because uh, as I said, the block is as small as it possibly can get to even work. We've used as little metal as possible. And it is cost, and it's probably made of old uh, soda cans, I suppose. That's what they use. Pot metal is the term. And for the actual saddles, I don't know if you can see this. They've even 
I mean, there are channels here where there aren't any material, so you used as little material as possible. And this is, of course, cast as well. Again, from old soda cans, probably. So just to let you know, these aren't even solid metal. And I put <laughs> the black ones on the chrome base plate. So I can keep that for another project. Well, let's keep going. There you have it. Bridge and output jack in place. So as you can see, I mixed them matched. <laughs> so I still have the chrome saddles, the chrome screws, and yeah, the same here. Kept the chrome screws, so yeah. Makes it pop, I think. So let's continue on to the tuners. Okay, now it's done. So again, here's the bridge with the chrome saddles, black output jack surrounding, and here are the tuners. I was a bit optimistic about the tuners. I thought these turning thingies matched, but they didn't. So I had to keep the black ones, but I kept the chrome ones here, the screws. So I still got the contrast that I wanted, I think. So, nice aesthetic upgrade for the Gypsy Rose. And these are all eBay parts. I should have mentioned that earlier, maybe. So, uh, yeah, less than $20 all in all. So let's rock. See you soon.